Hi, this video is showing how to record the piano in easy key on your Cubase. And this way, you can have very nice piano in the background. First, you need to have a chord track so the piano know how to play the chord. What I normally do is copy everything in the chord track in the Cubase. I highlight everything in the chord track or I select all event here and I paste to the easy key here this is a instrument instance I create I was using the project a track instrument and choose one track instrument track you see some of them is yellow some of them is white because I have some enable some disable I gotta do is uh, <coughs> totally enable everything because uh, if you actually disable them, you're going to have a MIDI generate that some part is enabled, some part disabled. Since I'm creating this tutorial, I will actually enable everything and I'll disable the part I don't want later on. So how do I do that? I just press the mouse key, shift on mute, which is a shift U on your keyboard. So everything is yellow. If I press Shift M, that's been mute. Everything is become white. Control Z is undo. After that, I'm going to export the Easy Key, the core uh, here in Cubase to Easy Key. I do is call export and MIDI file, and then I choose a location. I want to save this file. I want to choose a file which is I'm going I'm actually just working on right now I can replace the old one since I know I don't need the old one or you can create a new new one you can create any meaningful name or a day specific to all your needs export option by default is fine once you done that open the easy key by on the left hand side click the easy key VST instruments virtual instruments now you are in easy key screen and I have some of setting here again because I don't uh, I just re-import everything I don't want them so you can actually highlight everything and uh, remove them delete everything so right click the mouse button click remove and after that, you go to the the first, the very beginning, and you do the menu, song tr uh, song track, import MIDI file, and import the import the file you just save album. Okay, this is the file you just save. Select the track to use. I'm going using ED3 for the export file the key is A that's okay there's no need to transport okay that's done once you're done you can actually give them the pattern because the default pattern is very is just like that so you can give it a different pattern the pattern by in the library um, for example, my song is more uh, is gospel song, so I'm going to give the intro, uh, say this pattern, and so you will actually have intro of this pattern replace. And if you don't like, you can choose something, which is a uh, <coughs> for your needs. You can actually preview them in the real time. This is more busier one. Easy key here. Alright. Choose a tool here. Select. Go to uh, this one. I'll choose the uh, first part. It's okay. The uh, rest of them I just choose. Uh, because uh, uh, your system will gonna follow follow the, the the pattern here, not the pattern in the Cubase. Okay. So you actually say not the pattern. And then on the part, which is... Uh, that's a verse part. Okay, I'll just say that part first. And uh, the chorus part, this is verse part. See, that's the easy key we just do.
and if you want to create something that you want to modify uh, all you have to do is uh, add another instrument or you can just duplicate this one and once you duplicate what you do is uh, uh, make a name okay I'll just write key, duplicate okay copy easy key that's fine and you can actually uh, just uh, select everything all events here and delete them why because you're gonna import the new uh, MIDI from here so first I need to um, ex uh, export as MIDI file for this okay, I'm gonna export to a same folder uh, I will gonna put the same name but instead of there's no description I'm gonna say this one is easy key and then what I need to do all I need to do is go to the file and I can go to the the um, um, import import the uh, MIDI file and uh, do you want to create a new project no I'm just going to create in the same place and no and the easy key MIDI and you can see create another one okay so all you have to do is uh, copy everything here right click the mouse button select all event right and ca and the copy and all you have to do is that select all event and the copy Control C okay on your keyboard and go back to your easy key here and go to a first position and paste Control V so now let's actually mute this one so now we actually gonna have the same thing and uh, but we can also modify what I mean modify is you double click you can modify those notes uh, to fit your knee so let's see uh, how it sounds it should be the same same thing same thing You still see a sound here, right? You want to using here Cubase control all the MIDI on and uh, mute and unmute. You should actually remove in everything here. Don't worry because you still have one track which is have everything, so you don't have to worry about that. You just remove everything you want. You just actually dis disable this, uh, this one. Okay, so you can actually um, control the. Uh, Easy key in your cue base, you don't have to move back and forth. There should be no piano after this. See, no piano sound over, uh, uh, after this one. Okay, so this is actually how I do uh, using Easy Key to generate the uh, uh, keyboard part of the song. Thank you so much for watching. You have a very blessed day. Bye bye.